Hey everyone, this is Brad from Isla Instruments and this is the first in a series of videos we'll be releasing designed to help you get the most out of your Cordbot MIDI controller. Now, in this first video, what I'd like to do is walk you through the process of upgrading the firmware on your Cordbot. So we'll be going off to the website and downloading the latest firmware update files and firmware update applications for both Mac and Windows. Now, we regularly release firmware updates and these bring new features to the Cordbot so I do advise you keep your Cordbot on the latest version and we often include change logs so that you know what new features are occurring and we keep everyone updated about those by uh, Facebook and Instagram and email so just keep your ears out and your eyes open. Um, so one of the most important steps to getting the latest firmware onto your Cordbot is to place your Cordbot into DFU mode. Now, DFU stands for Device Firmware Update. To get your Cordbot into this mode, turn over and towards the end of the logo, you'll see a small aperture. And inside there, there's a push button. Now, I'm using an unfolded paper clip, but you could use a, a ballpoint pen or a, or a small straw or something like that. What's important is that you press the button that's inside there and you'll hear it click when you press it. Now, it's also very important that the USB, which is already connected to the computer, is not connected to Cordbot at this point. What you'll need to do is hold the button in on your Cordbot and then connect the USB cable. Now, you'll know that Cordbot has gone into DFU mode because it won't boot. If you were to just boot without the button being pressed in, of course, uh, Cordbot would light up and, you, and you'd come to the play mode screen. So this Cordbot is now in DFU mode and it's ready to accept uh, a new firmware. So what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the website, which is www.islerinstruments.com. We're going to download the latest firmware files. And first off, I'll give you a walkthrough of the process on Windows and then we'll move on to OS X. And then you'll be on the latest firmware. OK, let's go. OK, so we're going to point our browser to www.islerinstruments.com. And from there, we're going to go to the support section of the uh, website and then go to docs and downloads. Now, from this page, you can download all the latest firmware updates, uh, user manuals, documentation and the updater applications for both Windows and Mac including some separate drivers should you need them. First off, let's just download what we need for the purposes of this video tutorial. So the latest Cordbot firmware, uh, which is currently 4.011, is always at the top of the firmware update section. So we're going to grab that. And we're also going to go to the update section. Now we'll get to the OS X section of the video after. Um, but for now, we're going to download the Windows Updater application and also the DFU driver, just in case we need it. Now, if when you connected your Cordbot in DFU mode, Windows alerted you that there was no driver, open up your Windows Device Manager and look in your Universal Serial Bus, your USB controller section, and you'll probably see an item there that Windows couldn't recognize. It may have a yellow exclamation mark next to it. In my on my system, it's obviously been detected, but for the device that that Windows detects Cordbot in DFU mode as the one that has the yellow flag next to it, if you click the device and go to the driver section, first off, actually, uh, we'll go into our download section and just extract the bootloader driver that we downloaded. Okay, so we've got that there now. In your device manager, what we'll do is we'll update the driver for that device. Now we're going to say browse my computer and we're going to look in the download section and we're going to go into the driver uh, folder there. So depending on whether you've got a 64-bit system or a 32-bit uh, system will be which driver you want to use. So in my case, I'm using a 64-bit system. So I'm going to click that folder and say yes. And then when we click next, Windows will find the correct driver for you. In my case, I've already got the driver installed, but in your case, if you didn't have the driver installed, it will install the driver for you there. Okay, so from that section, we can move on and run our firmware update application. So again, I'm gonna go back into downloads. First off, I'm gonna extract the firmware uh, zip file, which I've now done. 
And I'm going to also extract the um, firmware update application for Windows. Um, so in the DFU Cordbot folder, which is the extracted updater application, we're going to go ahead and run the setup file for it. And at this point, it may ask you if you, uh, you know, really want to install this application. Um, yes. <laughs> And then we're presented with the updater application itself. So click to to it now actually do the firmware update on Cordbot. We'll click on the load update button and we will um, navigate to the folder which contains the firmware update file that we downloaded. And as Cordbot is already sat in DFU mode, it's started to perform the update for us. So what's happening now is that the program will erase the flash memory of Cordbot and once it's completed doing that, it will flash it with the new firmware. Okay, so if you're on the Windows platform, at this point your Cordbot is now fully updated and you can disconnect, close the app, and the next time you turn on Cordbot, you'll be on the latest firmware. Now for the remainder of this video, I'll be going over pretty much the same process, but using the Apple Mac platform. So we'll be installing some extra tools and I'll be walking you through the process of how to do that. So carry on watching. Okay, so now we've magically moved over to the Mac OS operating system. I will go over the steps necessary to update your Cordbots firmware on the Mac platform. So go to the Isla Instruments website and we can go to the support page and we'll do a few downloads. So we'll go to the docs and download section there and we'll grab the latest version of the firmware. As I said before, the change log is uh, always written on the download page so you can keep up to date with bug fixes and new features. So we'll click download on that. And I shall download the OSX data application this one. Those files will now be in our downloads folder. Now as I said before we've connected the cord bot to the Mac already pressing the firmware update button holding it in before we connect the USB cable while you've got the button held in then connect the USB cable and you can double check that everything's correct there by going to about this Mac and if you go to system report and take a look under USB you'll see in your device list an item called the STM32 bootloader and that lets you know that the cord bot is connected in DFU mode to your Mac and everything's okay there. So we'll go ahead and unzip the two files. We've got the cord bot updater application and the firmware file and running the updater uh, is a fairly simple process. So a few things to note about the Mac version of the firmware updater. There are some um, background tasks that you may need to install. If you click this question mark icon, it gives you a brief rundown of what you need to do. But since we're in a video, I'm going to take you through that process anyway. If you haven't done already, you will only need to do this once for firmware updates. If you haven't done already, you're going to go to the help menu up here and you're gonna click on install command line tools. Now this is gonna run off into the background and install some needed helper applications in the terminal. It may not install this on mine because mine is already installed, but you're gonna click here, install command line tools, and this will start churning away at running some processes in the background to install some tools that it needs. So I'm gonna fast forward this bit So you can see on the screen now here, it's uh, given us a prompt to press any key to continue. Okay, and that's all of the helper tools that are needed are now installed. So, with the Cordbot firmware update app open, we're going to select the DFU file. And there is our Cordbot um, beta latest firmware. Click to select that, and then you click the upgrade button. And this process will take maybe a couple of minutes. Um, and if you just keep scrolling down the info list, it'll tell you when it's done.
and that's the Cordbot successfully updated. So that brings us to the end of this Cordbot firmware update video. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Now would be a really good time to subscribe to the YouTube channel since over the coming weeks we'll be uploading many more videos to help you get the most out of your machine. So thanks very much for watching.